Woo! NBA secrets. Oh, man. Wow. Let's get straight to it. Because I don't want anybody to get lost in the sauce, right? Um, hit the like button. Um, everything below the banner tells you everything that you need to subscribe to and do. Um, and we can kick it off right now. If y'all don't mind, I'll just get right to it. The Lakers, after 2011, started to plummet. Uh, 2012 was like their last run. And from 2013 on, they had the worst like winning percentage in the NBA. They were bad. And this team had Kobe Bryant. What has happened? Um, Kobe's knees were failing him, but he also didn't have the talent being a veteran of the NBA who played in the league for so long and put his body through so much, he no longer had the talent around him to, you know, the team was very young. And to su surround a young, you know, Kobe Bryant around a young team, young personalities, he's got to get them to bend to his will rather than to get him veteran players who could help him and, you know, getting these guys, you know, up to date and up to par. You know, that's a very difficult ask. Because at this time, a lot of things were changing. A lot of things were in transition. Now... Dwight Howard was supposed to be that veteran that was supposed to help Kobe. They got Steve Nash. Nash had back troubles. And, you know, him playing anymore wasn't going to be feasible. Um, he was a shadow, you know, form of himself. He couldn't defend, but he knew the game. And he knew Dwight Howard was just not getting it. And him and Kobe, it was mostly Nash that was bashing. So on the other side of the planet, you have LeBron James and the Miami Heat. They put together this big three, and they finally starting to win championships now. So LeBron's got two championships. Looks like they're going to win a third they're the big team now in the in the NBA, the team that everyone's trying to beat. And Kawhi Leonard and um, almost beat him in 2013 with the San Antonio Spurs. Um, in 2014, they were the team to beat. Like the Spurs were just a nightmare for teams, and they blow. Miami out of the water. They weren't even close. Like none of the games, <laughs> they it was like the worst margin of loss in the finals history. You know. And after that season, LeBron was already pivoting because he didn't like you know some of the things Phil Jackson. I mean Phil Jackson. Uh, Pat Riley was doing. Pat Riley wasn't treating him as the perennial superstar that he wanted he didn't get that preferable treatment from him and his friends he felt Pat Riley disrespected him a lot so he wanted to move away from Pat Riley in the Miami Heat without actually telling him this there was meetings held with the Los Angeles Lakers and LeBron's team and representatives about LeBron's interest for playing for the Lakers and how would Kobe feel about LeBron coming to the team? Jenny Buss, and at the time, was still the major, even though her brother, uh, Jim, was running everything, 
Jim and Johnny, the two brothers, they really leave everything up to Jenny to do. So even when that was happening, Mitch Kupchak heard wind of this and talked to Jenny. And it was a very private, private, small conversation. Just a fill-out process. There was no words spoken with LeBron James. The words was with LeBron's representatives. So that could either be Mav Carter or Rich Paul. In this meeting, it was replied to them that Kobe would not be receptive to this idea. But Kobe's near the end. And having LeBron come join the Lakers is something that would be feasible. We will definitely talk to Kobe about this. So Kobe was discussed and they gave Kobe the option in which you heard later in the audio that I played for you on my previous video is when they told Kobe, anywhere you want to go, we will move you. It's unfair to you. And Kobe was like, nah, I'm staying. Why would I want to leave? So when Kobe was staying and didn't want to leave and wanted to stay with the Lakers, the Lakers now was at a point where they weren't going to try to trade Kobe Bryant to a team he desired and bring LeBron James over. LeBron was just going to have to wait until Kobe contract was up into 2016. So at that point, it wasn't going to happen. His next option was the Cleveland Cavaliers returning back home to Cleveland. That didn't become an option because he tried to look at other teams and other scenarios. LeBron wouldn't be able to have that type of control on no other team where he could go to. Kyrie Irving is the type of player he would like to play with that already has a perennial star, point guard, who a two guard who could score at will. And he felt like that chemistry would be great. But without having a conversation with Kyrie Irving, he dealt with the owner of the Cavs, who was more than happy to get LeBron James back. He apologized for what he said to LeBron. LeBron just needed to get out of Miami. LeBron was supposed to stay to the 2016 season. And after 2016, he was supposed to make his move to come to uh, Los Angeles. He's going to opt out of his last year and go ahead and go to, uh, not Miami, but to Los Angeles Lakers. But the Lakers, I mean, the Golden State Warriors end up beating, I mean, losing to the Cleveland Cavaliers and they brought the championship home for the first time in forever. And he comes on with his shirt. He's ready to go. He's pumped up. They came back from 3-1 down. Had they won, I mean, lost, LeBron would have been out. He would have left. He would have known that there was no way that they could put this team together. He would have been gone. And he would have went to the Los Angeles Lakers. Kobe Bryant retired that year. And basically, since they won, LeBron ends up signing a two-year extension informing the Los Angeles Lakers that after this two years, he's coming to Los Angeles. This is b before they even play another game. He signed on for two years, an extra year, because he wanted to go for a three-peat. He, he saw he had a chance for a three-peat. So he goes back to the NBA Finals. They got Kevin Durant now. They lose. But now he's stuck for another year. But he already knows this is his last year in Cleveland going into this season. There will be no extensions, no nothing. LeBron is leaving. He was only here to bring a championship, which he's done. He tried to go for three. They lost. So now that they're back in the NBA Finals, let's see if we can try to get one. Another championship, didn't work out, I'm out the door. Fake injury, what have you. 
Now, it wasn't looking as if this process was going to take place. The fight for the team and to remove Jenny Buss and the whole scene. The Lakers were a joke. Golden State has taken a market. And Jim and Johnny are looking befuddled as stockholders are not happy with the renewed returns. So LeBron's arrival was going to be rocky if best. He wants to know what's going on with the Lakers. He's reading about ownership changes. And Jenny said, don't worry. I'm going to be running the show solely there will be no problems when you come and arrive which it wasn't magic was in charge magic johnson you got rod palenka anything lebron wanted they were gonna get kobe gave him his blessing when he arrived and said hey you're part of the team now so anything you need you you know let me know i'll be there any type of information you got it but LeBron didn't need anything. He got everything he wanted. He wanted Kobe's locker. They gave him Kobe's locker. He wanted Kobe's old parking spot. He got that. He got everything he wanted. And he failed miserably. Lakers didn't make the playoffs in two of the seasons that LeBron has been there. LeBron's been there now, what, four years? So, the first year was the injury. Um, the second year is when they got, um, they think they got the bubble championship thing, right? That second year. Then the third year, they lost in the first round. And then this year, oof. Didn't make the playoffs again. So the Lakers get zero playoff dollars and zero playoff money, which is bad for the uh, shareholders and bad for the team. They can't afford to keep having these. LeBron's supposed to be turning the ship around. Anthony Davis is supposed to be the savior. And he's in street clothes more than he's in basketball clothes. It's not what they paying all this money for. So, that's how that came about, ladies and gentlemen. All of this was in play. All of that fake, where LeBron's going, the billboards in the sky. LeBron James paid for all of that promotion. He bought those billboards and spent that money to try to make it. Where's LeBron going? Everybody wants to know which city. Look, someone puts up here, Philly. We'd love to have you here in Philly. Come on, LeBron. He's put on a whole list of teams where he's going, where LeBron's going to go. Who cared? Everybody knew he was going to the Lakers. It was a dog and pony show. It was only one team, and that the scene was decided years ago. It's done. So, As they continue to, you know, make people seem stupid, the world knew exactly what the problem was. The world knew exactly how to defuse the situation. And that was to not give it any attention. So as the attention went into the Golden State Warriors and what was going to happen with them going for their three-peat, now they're headed for a three-peat as they return back to the NBA Finals. Where they lose to the Toronto Raptors, Clay's hurt, Kevin Durant's hurt, both guys headed for surgery. Championship is a verdict. And no one can do anything about it. Society is something else. You got to manage your expectations. 
Kobe Bryant did not want to have anything to do with basketball when he was done. Gigi started playing, so he would show up and bring her to games. Other than that, he was unattached. He let it go. He had a new drive, a new focus. His family. They sacrificed so many years so that he can play and live out his dreams and entertain the crowds. You know, and he went out with a bang. Now... It goes to show you how long these deals have been put in place. LeBron's trying to make major moves to bring over former all-star players and bend contracts so that other people can defer money and make it possible for the Lakers to have another super team going into this next season. Because their philosophy is they just need one or two more players. And then they're ready to make a run for the championship. Which is insane. But, hey, it is what it is. So, on that note, I'll tell you this. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the page. Like the video. All of these wonderful things. My Patreon is at Carcino for Life. And I'm out.